Trigonometric ratio, coordinates and angles. Question 6. Determine the exact primary trigonometric ratios of each given angle. So, A is for minus 30 degrees. So let's see what is minus 30 degrees. Whenever we have minus, it means we are moving clockwise. So minus 30 degrees will be this angle. Correct? So that angle is minus 30 degrees. Correct? This is minus 30. So we are going clockwise in this direction. So when you go in this direction, you land up in quadrant 4. Related acute angle is 30 degrees. So let's make our special triangle with 30 degrees. And that is this one. So this is 30 degrees. And the sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3. Got it? Since we are in quadrant 4, Cos is going to be positive, sine and tan will be negative, correct? So we can write now that sine theta is equals to from here 30 degrees opposite over hypotenuse. So 1 over 2. But with minus sine because sine is negative. Cos is positive. Cos theta will be equals to positive. Adjacent side is square root 3. So we have square root 3 over 2. How about tan theta? So tan theta is opposite over adjacent, that is 1 over square root 3. Since we are in quadrant 4, that has to be negative. Correct? Think like this. That is the triangle. Correct? Now here, x is positive. x is positive. But y is negative. Since y is negative, sine is negative and tan is negative. Both are related with y. And cos is positive because r is always positive. You get it? That's how it is. Now let's look into part B, right? So we've done this. Part B is 480 degrees. 480 degrees means what? It means 480 degrees minus 360. One full circle and then how much more? So if we take out, we get 120 degrees. That means that it is kind of like this for one full circle and then like this. Do you see that? So that is 480 degrees. So you land up finally in quadrant 3. In quadrant 3, sine is positive, right? Cos rule, C A S T, right? Sine is positive. Here cos was positive. Now, since sine is positive and all others are negative, we will always give sine as positive, right? Now what is the related acute angle? Well, 120 is this. So this left is 60 degrees. Correct? So we can again go for 30-60, correct? Our triangle. So in 30-60 triangle, let's make our triangle here. Right? In 30-60 triangle, now this side is 30, that is 60. So 30 opposite sides should be less, right? So it is 1. 1 and this is 2 and that is square root of 3. Let's make it again here. So let's make our 3060 triangle once again here. The same thing as I'm doing here, correct? But this time we are looking at acute angle of 60 degrees, correct? 60 degrees. And the sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3. Now since we are in quadrant 2, sine is positive, all others are negative. So we get sine of 480 degrees is equal to how much? Opposite over hypotenuse. Square root 3 over 2 and that is going to be positive. Well here theta equals to minus 30 degrees. Now cos of 480 degrees is negative because we are in this quadrant negative and 1 over 2. See if you look at this triangle x value is negative and y is positive. That is the reason why sine is positive and cos is negative. And how about tan 40 degrees? You can find tan by dividing sine by cos. Do you see that? That's one way of doing it. Second way, opposite over hypotenuse which is square root of 3. So both ways you get square root of 3 but tan should be negative, right? So that is how it is. If you divide positive by negative, you get a negative quantity, correct? Now, so so you can see like that also. Tan is, tan is 
opposite over adjacent this is positive that is negative so we get finally negative right or the cost rule anyway so these are the solutions for both the problems thank you